Hi and welcome to my video on the motion of a particle in a straight line and in this video we're going to find the velocity and the acceleration at t equals c stone value. Here we go. Do some examples just to make sure we know what we're doing. Find the velocity and the acceleration at uh, t is c. So the s of t is the position of an article. So we want to find the uh, velocity and the acceleration. Velocity is going to do here. The acceleration I'm going to do here. But the time is 2 in this position article. So we need to accelerate. We don't need, we don't need when the um, particle is at rest or particle is not at rest. When the particle is starting off, we just need to find what the acceleration and velocity is. So what we'll do, we'll do S prime, which is the velocity. So the derivative of this is a 6. The derivative of 6t is 6. The derivative of 1 is 0. So when the time is 2 seconds, there's no change here. So that's a 6. So at 2 seconds, at 3 seconds, it makes no difference what the time is. But the time got to be... Uh, greater than or equal to or greater than zero for position it got to be greater than equal to zero for velocity and acceleration the time got to be greater than zero so velocity is six and that's again if it's meters meters per second the acceleration is the double prime so the double prime on here is six so that's a zero so the acceleration at two seconds is a zero. This is a constant, the derivative of a constant is zero. Okay, now we got uh, another particle here, position particle at time of three. So let's get the derivative first. t squared is 2t derivative. Uh, 2t derivative is two. Derivative of negative one is zero. So we want the velocity which is at three seconds, so it's two times three plus two, so six plus two is eight. So that's, again, at eight meters per second, if the distance is in meters, times in seconds. And the second derivative, which is the derivative of the first, is two t is a two, derivative of two is a zero. So the velocity at Three seconds is two. So the derivative is two. So at three seconds is two. At one second is two. At six seconds is still a two. And let's do another one. So we want to find the s prime of t. We do the derivative. Two times three is six. That's a square. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 t. Derivative of 3 is 0. So that's the, the velocity, which is the s prime. So the velocity at 1 second. So we put a 1 in. Let's see. 1 squared is 1, so that's a 6. Minus 2. So the velocity is four meters per second. And the double derivative is the acceleration. So we'll get the derivative of this uh, binomial here, which in terms of t, six times two is 12, that's a t. Derivative of negative two t is negative two. And the acceleration at one second, 12 times one minus two, 12 minus two is 10 and again this is meters per second squared and I didn't write that in here this is meters per second squared again we could have had, we could have had feet in terms of seconds but most, most books uh, do meters per second and meters per second squared number four we want to do the derivative of s Prime derivative of s, so we got four times 
1 quarter is 1, so it's t cubed. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3t squared. And 3 times 2 is 6, and that's a t. So notice the exponents drop, take away 1 each time. So it's the power times the number in front, dropping the exponent by 1. And we want uh, t prime at 2 seconds. So we sub 2 in, sub 2 in for t. And 2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4, minus 3 is 12. Or, uh, 2 cubed, uh, 2 squared is 4, and negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And that's a plus 12. That's a 0 there, so that's an 8. So that's meters per second. That's the velocity at uh, 2 seconds. And the double prime is the acceleration. So this is a 3t squared. This is negative 6t. And this is 6. So we did the derivative of each of these again. And so we want the acceleration at 2 seconds. So we put 2 in the place of t, 2 in the place of t, and 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12, minus 12 plus 6. That's a 6, and that's meters per second squared. So that's working out the velocity and the acceleration by doing velocities to derivative of the position function, the acceleration is the double derivative of the position function or the derivative of the velocity. So hopefully everything is going okay and it's cleaned out adequately for you. And again, if you like my video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, visit my math website, www.math fullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. Content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.